Good morning and welcome back to digital e-learning. So today we'll be covering another important topic from quality that is PPAP, also known as production part approval process. It is one of the five core quality tools among the MSA, FMEA, APQP and SBC. Over 30 years ago, AIAG, also known as the Automotive Industry Action Group, collaborated with domestic automotive manufacturers to develop a common quality methods and tools which became the core quality tools. These tools proved to be so useful that they were adopted by other manufacturing sectors including aerospace, defense, medical and pharmaceutical. Today most of these automotive manufacturers and suppliers require the use of one or more of these quality tools. So for today we will be we will be focusing on PPAP. If you have not uh, watched my earlier video on APQP, please do watch and because it is an integral part of APQP and all these tools are somehow linked to each other. So please do watch that video and do comment. I have also covered uh, videos on MSA and FMEA and uh, SPC as well. So in this uh, video, I will be covering what is PPAP. I will also be covering the five levels of PPAP submission. Then I will be talking about the PPAP submission requirements and then the 18 elements of PPAP. And finally, I will, I will be covering the PPAP status. So please watch this video till the end. And in case if you like this video, please share it with all your friends. So let's begin to this topic on PPAP. Forget to like, comment and share with all your friends as well. And in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe as well and to hit that bell icon as well. Let us look at what is PPAP. PPAP stands for Production Part Approval Process. It was developed by AIAG that is Automotive Industry Action Group and it is an important part of comprehensive APQP that is advanced product quality planning approach. As I just told you that there are five phases in APQP and PPAP is triggered in the fourth phase that is product and process validation. So currently the effective version is the fourth edition uh, which is given by AIAG effective from June 1st, 2006 and this is the governing body uh, for AIAG for PPAP. So the PPAP uh, belongs to you, the supplier. It is the confirmation that suppliers planning and processing is sufficient enough to meet the customer continuous expectation of quality product. In short, uh, I would say the PPAP process verifies that the supplier understands all the customer engineering design specification and requirements and the process is capable of consistently producing product that meets those requirements during an actual production run at a quoted production rate. So these uh, PPAP uh, basically provides the customer with the evidence that the component suppliers have understood their requirement, the product meet the customer requirement and the last is the production process is capable of consistently producing confirming products. So this process is basically for suppliers and not for customers. So the PPEP process consists of 18 elements that may be required for approval of producing level parts. Not all of the elements are required for every submission. The 18 elements of documents that comprise of PPAP are first is the design record. Second is the authorized engineering change document. Third is the customer engineering approval if required. Fourth is the design FMEA. Fourth is the process flow diagram. Sixth is the process failure mode effect analysis, also known as PFMEA. Seventh is the control plan. Eighth is the measurement system analysis, MSA. Ninth is the dimensional results. 
टेंथ इज द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ मटीरियल परफॉर्मेंस टेंथ रिजल्ट इलेवेंथ इज द इनिशियल प्रोसेस स्टडीज ट्वेल्थ आर द क्वालिफाइड लेबोरेटरी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन नेक्स्ट इज द अपेरेंस अप्रूवल रिपोर्ट ए ए आर सैंपल प्रोडक्शन पार्ट नेक्स्ट इज द मास्टर सैंपल नेक्स्ट इज द चेकिंग एड्स नेक्स्ट इज द कस्टमर स्पेसिफिक रिक्वायरमेंट एंड लास्ट इज द पार्ट सबमिशन वॉरेंट also known as PSW. So out of the 18 elements of P pack, those which are being highlighted as red, suppliers shall submit these 12 items and retain a copy of record at the appropriate location. For the remaining six which are being highlighted as black, suppliers shall retain these six items at the appropriate location and also make them readily available upon request. so there are various levels of prepap submission depending upon what steps of approval process is needed by the customer as an automotive supplier your company is expected to know the minimum requirement to satisfy the various prepap levels in all there are five levels the first is the level 1 that is production warrant an appearance approval report only submitted to the customer so in this case uh, you need to submit the part submission warrant to the customer and report it this level is generally used for correction commonly commented in section psw adding additional application programs or platform to existing production program and may be requested when being asked to ship already prepped part to another location level 2 level 2 has production warrant product sample and dimensional result so in addition to part submission warrant you need to also submit the samples as well as the dimensional results to the supplier this level is generally used for minor revisions changes to parts that have existing approved prepaps or the minor changes in the method of production of parts with existing approved prepaps and the limited data would be determined by your customer next is the level 3 it has production warrant products uh, sample and complete supporting documents so this level is generally used when all the new parts being prepaps for first time and must include all the elements of quality planning including pfmea control plan flow diagram and evidence of pv testing acceptance next is the level 4 it talks about production warrant and other documents as instructed by the customer this level is generally used when there is a significant revision changes to the parts that have existing approved prepaps or the significant changes in the method of production of parts with existing approved prepaps and when the quality planning is unchanged last is the level 5 that is production warrant product samples and other supporting document at this level a review is conducted at the supplier manufacturing location so this level is generally used for and there is the same expectation at level 3 but with no on site verification at supplier so that is the difference between level 3 and level 5 also it involves it performs when there is a proprietary information involved or when special processes required to be validated so let us look at the what are the prepap submission requirement Uh, so I have listed down all the 18 elements of PPEP, and we will list down which is required at what level. 
So I have denoted uh, given three indications here S, which denote for organization sell, submit to the customer and retain a copy of records or documentation items at the appropriate location. R denotes the organization shall retain at appropriate location and make the available to the customer upon request. A star denotes the organization shall retain at appropriate location and submit to the customer more request. So for the level one design required, it is R, S, S, star, R. For engineering change document, again it is R, S, S, star, R. Similarly, we do it for everyone. You can just pause this video and look at what is required at what level. I will move forward to the next slide. So we have for process flow diagram. Similarly, we do it for all the 18 elements. These are the requirements for all the 18 elements of PPEP. Now let us look at the PPEP approval status. So we have three types of approval. The first is the approved status. It says that the part meet all the NCR requirement and can be shipped as per schedule. Next is the interim approval. It says the part permitted to ship only on limited time and quality. Next is the rejected. The part does not meet and fail the NCR requirement. So that's all I have on this video on PPAP. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share it with all your friends and do like this video as well.